Everyone's favourite franchise is back and finally in this series we discover what kind of a lord Lord Sugar is. Namely, he's a time lord. Make the leaves go in slow motion now. But what's this series really all about? Eyebrows. Not Apple's new internet exploring software, I literally mean the eyebrows. Meet contestant Jason. Now that's not so bad, bit of a mono brow going on there. If only we could successfully graft the middle bit of Jason's eyebrow onto the edges of whoa! Alex's. And that is why you should never have your stag do the week before you go on The Apprentice. Uh, he's like a different breed. I believe that I'm the new breed of businessman that this process requires. Uh, well, he'll certainly do well on business Klingon Fridays. Uh, apparently, uh, I, I sometimes get Freddie Mercury. Dracula? How about a cross between Michelle Forbes in Star Trek, crossed with Ed Chigliak from Northern Exposure and the Count from Sesame Street? Uh, who else is in the mix that we should know about? Well, there's Jazz, uh, who likes to stand in lifts with buttons configured to look like a penis, and who proudly declares, I'm half machine. Just like Stephen Hawking, except that the half of Stephen Hawking that isn't machine is an astounding mind capable of independently processing theoretical physics to a level unprecedented in human history, whereas Jazz is a teacher in military. And Keynes. Also half machine, namely mechanical rabbit, is Louisa, who boasts, I have energy like a Duracell bunny, sex appeal of Jessica Rabbit, and a brain like Einstein. Because if Einstein was alive today, this is exactly what he'd be doing. We will meet them all in time, but first let's find out what the task is. Now in previous series we have made sausages and perfumes and exercise machines. There isn't much left to make. Uh, so their first task is to engineer a small piece of genetic code that can be spliced into the DNA of factory farm chickens to make them gain weight at least three times faster than they already do. I've got you two shipping containers in the port of Tilbury in Essex. So at one in the morning we're off to the home of the Channel 4 idents to play Lucky Dip with shipping containers. Who'll hit the jackpot container with the Estonian prostitutes, drugs and Semtex? Neither. It's toilet rolls and cat litter mainly. With the girls and team Evolve, let's have a whoop, cries project manager Jazz. But it's 4.30 in the morning and on the evolutionary scale, they aren't up to gills, let alone opposable thumbs and whoops. Let's evolve, I'll do let's. So off they all go to try and flog their tat. On the boys team, Miles, who lives in Monaco and has a marketing company and describes himself as business perfection personified, but looks more like a tennis coach from Crawley, manages to offload some lucky cats onto a casino owner, but offers them with batteries, which leaves them with a two hour long task, inserting batteries into cats, which we've all tried to do and none of us really enjoyed it. And meantime, project manager Jason is increasingly looking less like a businessman and more like a harassed civil servant working on the Crossrail project. And the girls are now trying to sell the lucky Chinese cats in, uh, in Chinatown to uh, the Chinese. As Sophie observed, they'd probably buy these from China at ridiculously cheap prices. Or cold to Newcastle, as Lord Sugar put it in the boardroom. I like his new less grisly look for this series. Obviously he's splashed out on a new razor bait. And uh, we also finally get to see the receptionist as she says, you can go through to the boardroom now. Although I'd swear that was a different receptionist to the last time. These short term contracts, eh? There's just no job security anymore. Enjoy it while you can, love. The boys win, and as they get up to leave, Tim Stillwell, who doesn't keep still well at all, uh, decides now's the moment to really make an impression, saying, Lord Sugar, can I just take this point to say, I'm taking on board your comments that it is going to change. At the very start, I was struggling. I've never experienced that. You've won. No, I know, but I just want to say, shut up. Off you go. Okay. Superb move, Tim. Uh, the job's in the bag. Jazz brings back Sophie and Uzma, attracting Lord Sugar's ire when she says, Oh, man. Oh, I'm not man. I'm Lord Sugar. I'm so sorry. But you do not fudge with a Time Lord. You're fired. Okay, thank you. Manners. And she is immediately tardised away to the death zone, otherwise known as Milton Keynes. It is over, and all we can do now is wait until tomorrow, when once again our nostrils will be filled with the reek of fresh, hopeful blood. Thanks for watching, I'm Jake Yap, and don't forget to check out the other fun stuff on The Poke, and I'll see you tomorrow!